when I see Gen Z people at the thrift store, it scares me because they, the Gen Z generation, they got such good style, good taste. But anyway, they ain't found this one. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, yeah. And I am back with a thrift haul video. I went thrifting a couple days ago and I picked up a couple pieces at the My Unique in the Bronx. I love that freaking thrift store. And people always ask me like, Sierra, where do you thrift? And that is the main place that I go to thrift. And it's not like a consignment type of a thrift store. This is the digging type of a thrift store where you can really find, you know, a good bargain for really good quality things. Um, especially if you're just really into thrifting, I would highly recommend, you know, going to these Salvation Armies, these my unique. So yeah, the one in the Bronx never fails me. I mean, I don't leave with a gang of stuff all the time, but I always leave with something that I end up wearing all the freaking time. Um, this vest I'm actually wearing right now, I got from my unique in the Bronx. And it was a little longer, but I cropped it. And I'm wearing it today with my little jeans, my little belt. It's a little vibe. And yeah, I paid like $4 for this. So, yeah. so the first item, no, let's get into some fire first, actually. I was going to start off with a little t-shirt, but let's hop into it. So, yeah, this is actually the first item that I saw thrifting. And I would say, you guys, do not get discouraged because I find that sometimes it takes me 15 minutes to find, you know, just one piece. But once you find that one piece, you then have your momentum, momentum for momentum, momentum. Wait, how do you say that? Momentum. Ugh. I'm pretty sure it's momentum. You have your momentum for the, the rest of your, you know, haul, your thrifting. So, yeah, I found this piece and Im immediately I'm like excited for the next piece I'm going to find. And it is this polo, baby. It's polo Ralph Lauren little crew neck sweater, y'all. It's 100% cotton. And as you can see, it's in this very beautiful cobalt color. I was going to buy this cobalt sweater from Office of Saint General. And, you know, that's a couple hundred dollars. Nonetheless, I feel like it is well worth it. You know, it's wool cashmere. Again, it's in a beautiful cobalt color. And I was just like, oh my God, I love this sweater. But, you know, I was thinking like, it's not an everyday sweater. And it is a lot of money. And I'm not rich. And I'm like, I can't do that. Like, no. If it was like navy, then I, you know, that that's just how my brain be going, y'all. Like, I just be like, no, it's not like every, every day. Like, I want items like I wear every, every day. And I freaking go to the thrift store and I find one that I like even freaking more. Like, ah! And what gets me about this sweater, not that it's just Ralph Lauren. I mean, Ralph is a classic, but it's about the details. It is just a very beautiful sweatshirt. You got ribbing when it comes to like, you know, the cuffs on the sleeves. You have a little ribbing, ribbing little cuff at the bottom. Like it's just such a beautiful sweater, you guys. I cannot believe I thrifted this. When I see Gen Z people at the thrift store, it scares me because they, the Gen Z generation, they got such good style, good taste in my opinion. And I just be like, dang, they gonna take everything. And I be looking at it in their little baskets and I be like, dang, how they get that? Dang, I wish I would've got that. With that being said, I'm just like, I can't believe one of them just snatched this up before me, baby, because they would show, they show me around a little thrift store and they had their little friends with them too and then they be disgusting stuff. I be like, dang. But anyway, they ain't found this one. <laughs> and then in terms of styling this sweater, I chose to keep it really grandpa-like Really like my boss off duty with a little cigar. You know, he got you watching his kids play outside with his little loafers on. That's what I was trying to get with this look. <laughs> and yeah, I chose to put a little white t-shirt underneath to, you know, break up the blue and the denim. And in terms of shoes, I want to keep it classic again. So I chose to put on my Dior loafers, which I am about to grab because a lot of people ask me questions about these. I feel like this look is very, very classic. And again, this is something that you can wear if you are just getting into color or, you know, color is new to you. I feel like this is a very nice, simple look that you can maybe pull inspiration from and put your spin on it. So these are my Dior loafers that people always like ask me about. And I thrifted them in Chicago, actually, from this little thrift shop um, in Wicker Park. It's on Milwaukee. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to find it, but it is such a good thrift store, and I hope the man is still there. He was an older gentleman, and he had a dog, and his dog died, and he had, like, pictures up, and everyone in the community felt it because we all, you know, everybody in Wicker Park knew him and his dog because he always, people always go to his store for, like, denim, Levi denim, and vintage Gucci, vintage Fendi. Like, his store is in freaking sane. And I got these at his shop like maybe five or six years ago now. And I 
was like maybe like 19 or 20 I didn't even know the true value of them or just how beautiful they truly are I just was like mainly like oh my god Christian Dior I say that to say like I did not appreciate them because I treated them like crap like y'all like I was I'm already hard on myself but I feel like these I should have definitely treated a little bit better but yeah these are my vintage Christian Dior loafers and I believe I pay like $80 for them and they click clack when I walk the sole is beautiful it's like a leather sole and I need to get them resold and hopefully somebody can like repair them a little bit in the front but yeah these are my very very beautiful classic little loafers I have them in the back of my closet for like so long and then one day I just thought let me bring them out and when I tell you that that day I got so many compliments on them like people were stopping me on the street and it was like older women like chic older women like oh my god what are those loafers and like da 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 and yeah so I'm like okay well maybe these are still wearable because I just never wore them like oh my god they so beat up but I still wear them to this day I still get compliments on them because I feel like looking at this is given like handmade not machine made and I love that. Also, the quality of the leather, as, as you can see, is so beautiful, which is why even though it's beat up, like, it's still aging gracefully. Um, and yeah, these are my BBs that I am going to be styling a lot throughout this video. So you're going to see them again for the next look. And then I picked up just a little basic little t-shirt, and it is 100% cotton. And I find that whenever I go to the thrift store, at first it used to be a button-up for me. I used to always get a striped button-up. But now I'm just like graphic tees like I love graphic tees especially if they're 100% cotton and I got this one because it has this cute little dog in the front I just thought this dog was so freaking cute and the fact that it says like round two I don't know what that really means but cute 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 and when it comes to a t-shirt I just feel like you can never go wrong because you can wear you know a sweater over top of a t-shirt you can wear it underneath the vest which is how I'm styling it here I chose to put a little vest over top my Winnie vest that is so chic and I love to wear with t-shirts like this one and I love it because it's a v-neck and you can see a little graphic if you are wearing one um and yeah you can see my little dog peeking through it so obsessed obsessed with this tee and definitely gonna be wearing this look very very soon and I just kept on the same jeans and the same little loafers from the previous look but yeah y'all that is how I style this little t-shirt and I think this t-shirt was like three dollars oh and then the Ralph Lauren Polo, I think, was like $10, if I'm not mistaken. Ten, it was like $8 or $10. That's how much this one was. And then I picked up these Pumas. These Pumas. I don't know. It was something about them. These Pumas, I think, are called the Maestro, Maestro, Maestro Pumas. Um, in case you ever thrift a pair of shoes and you want to know what the style is, typically for like athletic shoes, it has like a little code on the inside of them um the art number for instance is what it says on the inside of here i don't know if you guys can see that but it says like the art number so you can type that little number in on google and then it will pop up the style name for the shoe it's the same for like nikes and i believe jordan's as well so yeah this shoe i think is from like the early 2000s or late 90s and i just like it i think that it just was like a freaking cool silhouette to me it, i love like the rubber tire looking you know i just think it's a very cool like athletic looking shoe and also like from afar it kind of reminds me of the taxi 12s the jordan taxi 12s which is a little vibe because i don't know if i'll ever get my hands on another pair of like retro jordans because they're so expensive and i'm sorry but the quality is just not worth the price when it comes to like jordans buying them at the resale price it's just like you're just paying for the hype of them at this point so it's like if i can't buy them at retail like i'm like nah 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 so yeah this is giving me my um taxi 12 uh feels i think i paid like ten dollars for these bad boys and they are really really comfortable i did take out the sole however because my toes are kind of like thick so it was kind of hurting at the top but I took the sole out and now they're good that is a trick that I learned from my auntie she was a big big sneaker head and she if she couldn't get the Jordans in her size she would size down and just take the sole out and that just make them a little bit bigger by the sole I just mean like you know the uh the insert I just pulled that out so it makes it have a little bit more room which I don't mind doing you know this is a sneaker that I pay ten dollars for and I'm gonna wear every now and again so yeah 
that part. And how I'm gonna style these is probably gonna be with like wide leg denim. I thought it was so cute with my little diesel jeans. Um, just having like a little black and white just peek through. I think that it's giving me like a Kill Bill vibe. That's why I like these. They remind me of Uma Therma and Kill Bill. Uh, when she had, I think hers was the Asics. And that is actually all that I picked up from my unique thrift store. But I did want to touch on this skirt that I think I never showed you guys. And where is it? And it's going to be this skirt right here. It's 100% cotton. And I actually picked this one up from Tokyo 7 which is more of like a consignment thrift shop or secondhand shop. But it's really good. I always find something when I am looking. But as of late, I'd be just like dropping stuff off stuff off to sale because I like their little situation. You get 50 and they get 50. And I believe I paid like, I'm, I think I paid like $75 for this skirt. And when I tell y'all it has been sitting in the back of my closet, okay for like over a year i just did not know what to do with it but nonetheless i think it is so so freaking beautiful you have like um the split is in the front of it and i just think i found it to be just so formal for my style so it was just really hard for me to pull it off is it blueberry on my tooth all okay. right <laughs> but anyway i was trying on these clothes styling these clothes and i pulled out this skirt i said you know what let me see what i can do with it let me just see let me just see and I think that because my style has evolved, I have seen more things when it comes to fashion. Now I know what to do with this skirt because I've been looking at, you know, the row and I think that subconsciously this, this look just came to me. I think this look is so chic for, you know, dinner time, especially if you are one to, you know, you want to be comfortable, but you want to give a little sexy, get you a little pencil skirt or a skirt with a little slit where, where you're able to show a little leg. And I feel like you can get away with wearing a little sneaker or a little mule, which is comfortable at the end of the day, but you still giving, okay? Because you got that little leg out. For a shoe, I chose to go with my little um, replica cutoff. I think that it adds this edge to the look. Otherwise, it's like very classic and simple, which I love. I think that you can totally dress this look up with like a mule. All right, y'all. So that sums up everything that I have gotten for this thrift haul. The lighting has changed so much. Oh my God, now it's like dark. Um, let me know what you guys favorite piece was from this video down below in the comments also what have you guys picked up recently what have you been thrifting i would love to know y'all know i love to conversate with y'all and i will see you guys in my next one